Connor, can you speak to your team's resilience, not only bouncing back from that loss against the Islanders, but also tonight showing up big in the third period? Yeah, I mean, I've liked a lot of aspects of our game. I feel like we've had lots of chances. Um, you know, we've just been finding ways to lose games. Um, you know, I thought we did that on the island. Um, we did that against Tampa. You know, the Florida game's kind of a write-off. So, um, you know, I thought we responded well tonight, obviously in a tough spot, down one, heading into the third period. But I thought there was great resilience, like you said, and, um, you know, the boys stuck with it. That messaging that you just shared is uniform throughout this locker room. You guys are creating chances, but not necessarily getting the finish from time to time. As a leader on this hockey club, how do you make sure that that standard is upheld? Um, well, I think, you know, offensively, um, you know, guys just got to stay with it. Um, you know, it, uh, it's confidence is key offensively. I think defensively we've been doing a lot of really good things. Um, you know, minus obviously the Florida game, but I think defensively we've been really good. Our goaltending has been has been there when we needed it. And, um, you know, I think uh, tonight was a, a good show of resilience. You need one of those to, to kind of snap a losing streak like that. We just talked to Adam Ernie, of course, draws into the lineup for the first time in a month. Big goal. As his teammate, what goes through your mind when you see him score like yeah, that? Yeah, really big goal. Obviously happy for him. Um, you know, it's never a fun situation to be sitting out of the lineup, and he'd been doing it for a long time, and, um, you know, done it with a smile on his face and just being a great teammate, um, you know, and that's all you can ask for. And obviously steps in and scores a big goal at a big time, and um, that's what you ask of your teammates and ask out of everybody. Kind of what changed in the third period? <laughs> you know what? I don't think much. Um, I feel like we had... Lots of loose pucks around the net, lots of little plays that, that could have gone. And um, all of a sudden, the third period, they just started going in. You know, it's a funny game that way. So um, you stay with it long enough, you get rewarded. And I thought we did that tonight. Was anything said at the second intermission? <coughs> uh, you know what? No, I think as cliche as it is, it was kind of just stick with it. We liked a lot of it. We, we liked a lot of, uh, a lot of parts of our game. Um, we felt like we should have been down, but we were. And, um, you know, kind of felt a little bit like the Winnipeg game, if you can rem remember that a while ago, where um, you know we played, we, we kind of carried the play, and um, we're down one, and just kind of hung in there and, and found a way to win. What do you one think of that Leon Drysaddle backhand yeah. shelf? <laughs> Not many guys in the world can do that. Uh, guys were saying that on the bench. You know, how does he how does he do that? But you know, never ceases to amaze. One of the Devils' highly touted players is obviously Jack Hughes, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on his overall play and some of the comparisons that he's uh, had to Wayne Gretzky, uh, having won the Hart Trophy and also um, and also having the career you have. I'm curious to hear your assessment on him. Um, yeah, obviously a really you know really good young player. All those Hughes boys are um, uh, amazing, um, you know, and obviously he's a young. Uh, uh, you know, a young kid in this league and you know, carries himself really well out there on the ice, skates well, wants the puck, um, making plays. I mean, that's all you can ask for from uh, from your from your young guys. And, you know, he's just going to keep getting better and better. There's no, doubt have, there's no doubt you have a high-powered offense, but what can you do to improve the defense? What can we do to improve the defense? Well, you know, we just played a, a really, really, uh, you know, uh, highly talented team in the Devils here tonight, and I thought we did a good job of limiting their chances. They're you know, super potent, and when they get a chance, it's 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 usually in the net, and they obviously showed that tonight. So, I thought we did a lot of good things, limiting their chances, and you know, hopefully, something we can build off of. Three goals in uh, 69 seconds. What did you guys see there, and what were you exploring on the Devils' defensive side of things? Well, we just wanted to get pucks there. We felt there was a lot of pucks laying around the net, and um, we needed. Uh, sometimes you just need a bounce, and we got one there early, and and. Uh, you know, obviously Leo makes a special play there. Um, not a lot of guys can make, and you know, bigger and chips in with uh, with another big one. You know, a couple seconds later, so it's a big stretch of the game um, you know, and that turned it uh, in our favor for sure.